Back now in the creative corner. That's right. Do you remember these? Check this out. It's a floppy disk. You had to have them for um, computer class. Yeah, and now you can turn these discs, a part of Americana, into some fun things. And here to share a few creative projects is uh, we've got Lindsay from the Ideas Store. I'm really excited about this because I, we always want to find new ways to repurpose old things. And this is a great way to do it. Oh, it's a fabulous way to do it. Okay. How many people have floppy disks sitting around? You know, like we were just talking <laughs> that you can't even fit um, you know, a one, picture on one of these. 1.44 megabytes. Oh I have my. emails that are bigger than this now. So Where a lot of people go? must have these laying around and then they bring them to you they because care. they think, hey, you, you'll know what to do with them. Exactly. So what are we going to do with them? We're going to, I'm going to show you how to make different crafts and how to repurpose these dinosaurs into something <laughs> fun and creative. Okay. Look at that yeah, though. That's neat. Yeah. So this is a, a container that was made with five different floppy disks, all um, put together by yet another uh, flashback telephone wire. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness, yeah. So this was donated to the Idea Store as well, and we use it, and we love it in all of our crafts. Um, you probably, if you've been to the Idea Store, you've seen this a lot. It's nice never... because it's flexible without being too rigid. And, mm -hmm. and yeah. it will still hold, and it's super colorful. Would you a lot have thought to save that? I would have been like, all right, trash. Yeah, no, exactly, go. and most people don't. Um, but that's why you can reuse them. So this is a okay. cute little container. Um, and then we also have a book. So right in front yeah, of you. That's this fun. Is so cool. Look at that. So it's just the metal rings, metal um, binder clip <laughs> rings, um, some scrap paper. So this one right here, I have done tons of different scrap papers, like calendar pages and maps that can be used for it. Well, it's really handy, so too, cool. because these discs, if, if you remember, go back into the Wayback yeah. Machine with us, have these little holes right here. You used to use it to, you know, close it off so you didn't overwrite what's on the disc. Mm -hmm. But they've got these holes. And so you can now You're just... You're an expert at this, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> I'm old. I remember these things. So you, can, so you can now use it, just tie those things through. And this is actually the start of your planner box. Yeah, well, so that one is actually um, a wall hanging. So do you see the black part of it? Yeah. You see have um, Polaroids, which are making a comeback, the fun little the fun little cute pictures yep. you could stick a picture in of that metal holder remember talking about polaroids the other yeah. day at the live show i know a and you could hang it up on the for christmas hang it up on the wall so um speaking about those holes so all we did though to make the container um if you notice on another floppy disk they have smaller little holes up here but they're not all the way through right mm -hmm. so you need to take an awl which is a pretty much a sharp pointy tool mm -hmm. um and poking it through um or if you have a drill at home or a dremel or anything like that and you just work through it and it pops open. It's like an ice pick. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> little that's baby a, ice little pick. Little baby ice pick. <laughs> um, but in, that's what all I did was continue to pop them through and then took this wonderful, colorful telephone wire, thread it through, and then kept going on with it. And boom, you've yeah. got your little planter box. Yeah. Or I actually think I remember having these colored discs because it was so cool that they came out in colors. Remember they were like small oh, yeah. and black and, and really boring and then they came out in these colors and everyone was like, oh, they're like, oh that's awesome. I gotta have and it. there they are and now it's a wall decoration. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a wall decoration. <laughs> what do we have over here? Because it looks like we got some mittens and um, yeah. some other stuff. So if you're not going to go to Tuscola for their Christmas thing and you're going to stay in town, right. um, so on the... Uh, December 2nd and 3rd, we have um, the Idea Store has Mary Treasures Holiday Craft Bazaar. So we have um, 13 different vendors that are bringing in their handmade creative reuse goods. So part of it was they had to be at least 75% creative reuse in order to be a vendor in our show. So these are some fabulous wool mittens. What's the reuse <coughs> there? What would they reuse? A sweater? Sweaters, like uh, wool sweaters that you accidentally shrunk or got warm or heated. Mm -hmm. And then they make um, awesome, nice, Cozy. Mittens. Look at mittens. And wow. then sewn together. Ooh, I'm in this bag. Isn't here that adorable? <laughs> so, Speaking to me right here. So, a lot of those, um, um, like fabric and the tassel and the leather actually came from the idea store. Oh. And the artist um, purchased it and made it into it. So if you see on there too, a piece of the fabric is actually the um, the seaming, like the, the end scrap mm. of it. So that's a little scrap to Nothing right. goes Crazy. to waste. So what are the hours for the event? So it's going to be on Friday, December 2nd from 4 to 7, and then on Saturday, December 3rd from 10 to 4. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much. Yeah. Fun ideas. Thanks. We'll actually have um, all this information on our Facebook page so you can get connected with the Idea Store. Um,